Good day, students. Welcome to biology class. Today, we're going to take the first topic in SS3 class, and that is variation. So what is variation? From the word variation, you can say variation is the difference that occurs among organisms of same species. So we have two keywords in the definition. So the first one is to say the difference that occurs among organisms of same kind or same species. So we say difference. We want to look at how does or how do organisms of the same kind, for example, human beings, we have the same kind, we have the same species, how do we differ from one another? Same species. Now, we have the causes or sources of variation. What are the things that make the organisms of same kind to look different from one another? So we say we have the causes of variation. There are two broad causes of variation. The first cause is, the inter is interaction of an organism with the environment. We say environmental cause or environmental variation. Then the second one is, is genetic cause of variation. That is how we transfer traits from parent to offspring. In the process of transferring the traits from parent to offspring, you see that the offspring will now differ from the parent. And that is what is called genetic, from the word, the gene. Now, the major difference between environmental and genetic is that environmental is what you acquire from the environment. That is, through the interaction of an individual with the environment. So we say it is acquired. So the main cause of variation is genetic. And genetic means it is transferred from one organism to another organism. And that is what we call inherited. So it is inherited. Now let us look at the various causes of genetic variation. The various causes of genetic variation. Now the first cause or the first major cause of genetic variation is what is called mutation. So we say mutation. And what is mutation? Mutation is the sudden change. Sudden, that is the key word. The sudden change in the structure of the DNA or the chromosome. Don't forget that the DNA is located on the chromosome. You can either pick sudden change in the structure of chromosome or sudden change in the structure of DNA. So we say the sudden change in the DNA. Don't forget that the DNA is deoxyribonucleic acid. Now, another reason for organism differing or differing from one another is what is called crossing over. And crossing over means we are exchanging genetic material between chromosomes that are alike. Let me repeat. We are exchanging genetic materials between chromosomes that are alike. And those chromosomes that are alike are called homologous chromosomes. So we can define crossing over as the exchange or the recombination of genes between homologous chromosomes. Okay, we say the exchange of gene
between homologous chromosome. So those homologous chromosomes, they are alike. So let's give a critical diagram for that. So this is a chromosome, don't forget. This is how a chromosome look like. We draw another chromosome beside it of the same of the same height. They are alike. However, we are going to color this. Okay, we color this. Then we color this. So this is black, this is white. They are homologous because they have the same the same height. So there is where they link up together. And where they link up together, there is what is called the crossing over. So let's highlight it here. We have the crossing over. So this crossing over of homologous chromosome, same chromosome, will eventually lead to what is called variation. Why the father will be different a little from the offspring. Now the third, and don't forget that this crossing over, please take note of this, it occurs during meiosis. Meiosis, you have done that in your, in your SS2, and you refer back to my video on meiosis. So we say during meiosis. So we are going to see this in the past question as we trade the past question. So number three, we have what is called independent independent assortment of chromosome. Independent assortment of chromosome simply means rearrangement or we say random rearrangement of chromosome. So, and this occurs during meiosis also. It occurs during, during meiosis. So we can see how meiosis is leading to what is called variation. The first one is crossing over during meiosis, and the second one is independent assortment during meiosis. And don't forget that meiosis is a cell division in which a parent give, gives rise to half the number of chromosomes. Again, meiosis is a cell division in which the parent gives rise to half the number of chromosomes. This is the parent and offspring. You can see that parent is giving rise to half. Half, that is, this is one offspring and another offspring. So the offspring is having an N, the parent is having two N. Another offspring is having an N, the parent is having 2n. So the offspring is having half of the number, that's n, of chromosome of the parents. So let us continue on the reason we are having variation. So the last one I'm going to give to you for your exam's sake is what is called the gene gene flow from the word flow that is to move from one place to another gene flow is the transfer of gene from one population to another population again gene flow is the what the transfer of gene from one population into a new population so when a new gene enters into another population it is going to give rise to offsprings or organisms that differ from one another however they are of the same kind goodbye we we'll meet in the next class